Look who's here, Marcus, what have you just signed? Uh, contract, well, permanent contract to be here. So, I, I couldn't be happier, how, how are you feeling about it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, over probably like the last, I'd say three, three to four years, like this is the happiest I felt playing football and being here. So I feel like it only made sense for me. Um, more to come from you. I mean, it's been a, a bit of a frustrating season, yeah. hasn't it? Um, yeah, a lot, a lot more to come for me. I feel, um, I feel good here. I feel comfortable now, so I feel like I can get my best football and um, just carry on where I started. Really, there's an obvious question here. How's the injury? How are you? How are you getting on? Uh, it feels a lot better. Um, I probably still got like another two months, so I probably won't be wow. fit until um, pre-season. But it does feel a lot better. It came at an annoying time for me, but that's football. It's one of those things. You know, um, when you were running up that great big sand hill in Wales, you're yeah. not avoiding doing a lot of running in pre-season with this injury. Uh, right? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you back to that. The first day you came to Oxford United, it was yeah. the height of COVID. Yeah. We were down in Wales and you were sat on a table all on yeah. your own. Yeah. No one was allowed to go near you and yeah. stuff. It's a, a world away now, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a big difference. We're, even though it, nothing's back to normal yet, it's a uh, world away from where we was back then. So, um, yeah, it was definitely hard times, especially when I was coming in, meeting new people and stuff like that. And I had to be by myself and that sort of like, self-isolate. It was yeah, difficult. You were, you were, that, yeah, you were completely another half of the room yeah, to the rest exactly. of us. But, um, yeah, during that week, it quick, quickly, I got on well with a lot of the boys. Um, yeah, and a great group of boys, great, great staff. So. It's a very welcoming club, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's uh, from from the time I've been here, and obviously, I've only had a few games where there was a small amount of fans that was at the game. But I can imagine when it's full, what like the stadium and the atmosphere will be like. But since I've been here, everyone has welcomed me and um, made me feel at home. There, there's your your problem is you haven't played in front of the fans. Yeah. I guess that's what every player thrives on. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, the fans they they just bring out like that. That extra bit in you that you didn't know you had, and in, at the end of the day, like you perform for the fans as much as you love football, you perform for the fans, and um, the the club means everything to the fans. And obviously, I want to do well for the fans and get the club where they want to be. It's been a roller coaster of a season. The last few weeks, even since, since you got the injury, yeah. it's an unbelievable season. Yeah. We're still in it, aren't we? Yeah, hundred percent. I was saying downstairs in um, the medical room that like, I can't watch the games because. I get so nervous when I watch games. I get so nervous playing it. I'm I'm fine, but watching it is just different. So um, and it's always refreshing, refreshing just to see the scores and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'm I'm like a fans when I'm watching the game. So uh, I find it difficult to watch them, but yeah, I always give them boys the uh, message to say yeah, that, yeah to support that. the boys and stuff like that. So yeah. So last question: Will, will you be Oxford United's Championship midfielder or League One midfielder? Uh, do you know what? I, I, I don't know. Look, the boys are doing well. Um, all, all we can do is think of ourselves. Like we just carry on winning our games and hopefully, with a little bit of luck, they drop a few points and we sneak into the playoffs.